in my conversations that I was having during the, the panel discussion during the frontline exhibition, it was like some of the solutions that were talked about is community policing. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot easier to have police who come from the community protect the community. Communities in themselves, especially communities of color, being more autonomous, keeping the money circulating within our community so that we take care of ourselves. We don't need foreign occupiers to come in and police us because we police ourselves and we're all family. Ultimately, you know, controlling our own economic dollars, you know, getting away from the, the big box stores and all of that, like that was a means of, of solution for us, you know, that we were talking about heavily, um, becoming masters of our own destiny, business owners, and, and just being human beings. You know what I'm saying? Just really being human beings who feel deeply about the future and our children and the lives of our loved ones. You know, we all have that in common. We all love and we, we, we need to express that love even to people we don't know, especially to people we don't know. One of the only ways to start changing some of the tension that we have in this world, whether it's between races or between class or between religion or whatever the case is, hip hop. A lot of us can disagree on religion, economics, background, we can disagree on a lot of things, but a lot of us at the same time with those disagreements can agree on a dope Biggie song. We can agree on a dope beat and move ourselves to that and join in unison to that vibration. You know what I'm saying? So I think, and I've said it before, hip hop music and hip hop culture is the vanguard to the spiritual and political evolution and revolution of society because it's so universal that it's inclusive of all people. You know what I'm saying? And there aren't too many movements right now that can do that, you know? But further to that, I think we need to start seeing ourselves as human beings. Let's stop compartmentalizing ourselves because society and the quote system or they or the establishment are looking to compartmentalize not only us in terms of culture, but in terms of consciousness. They're trying to give us this narrow scope of experience so we don't see outside of that pale and we don't develop the level of empathy and compassion that's gonna put us in tune with not only other people, but the rest of the planet, all living things things, not only in this world, but in the universe, because once you start developing that, then you start withdrawing from the paradigm of control they're trying to put you in. You know what I'm saying? So it's two things. It's being, it's hip hop, but art, artistry and creativity allows us to have those kind of awakening moments, those human experiences that remind us of why we're here. You know what I'm saying? And then once you recognize and understand your own humanity and you see the humanity of other people, it's hard for you to see them as other. It's hard, it, it's, it's hard for a cop who's walking the beat to kill a young black man when he sees him as a human being as opposed to a threat. You see what I'm saying? It's a lot harder for him to pull that trigger, you know, but as long as they're compartmentalizing us, as long as they're thinking of us and making us think of ourselves as other and this person is an enemy, this person's out to get me, this establishment is out to get me, we're never gonna, we're never gonna succeed. We're never gonna get past the anger. We're never gonna get past the tension. We gotta start really seeing ourselves as human beings. And the only way to start seeing ourselves as human beings is through artistic and creative experiences. And I think hip hop is the, is, is, is the appropriate conduit for that. The media in itself has an agenda to make sure it can it cover up motherfuckers with a positive message. Cops need to be put in jail with the wolves and they need to be scared of it. And if they are, then they probably won't do illegal shit. And if they do, they deserve it, right? Throw them niggas in the hole like they throw us in the hole. And then it's like, you know, the skull, it's like, it looked like, it looked like a skeletal, you know, skeleton. So it kind of looked like death and it kind of represented how you know, food is messed up right now. That's, it, you know, it just has multiple layers. Bone Thugs was a big influence on me. I always liked the real choppy rap with the, the harmonizing in it. You know, uh, E1999 was one of my favorite albums, Eternal.